Pre-pandemic, we were serving about 40 kids um, a, a day after school. And um, as the pandemic um, really started to um, take prevalence in, in our lives, uh, we started to see more and more need. And that number grew um, from 40 to 400 to 600 to 1,000, and then it continued to, to where it's at today. We're serving 2,400 kids uh, a week. Osage Prairie YMCA I think is a very unique rural um, YMCA. It is a very sparse community once you get outside of the city limits. That's what makes it so um, challenging and unique at the same time. So the food program has been really good for our community. Obviously when uh, COVID hit uh, there was a lot of change in people's employment and things like that. It made it difficult. The food programs at school stopped and this food program really helped fill a need. We looked for more opportunities to, to serve more kids. Um, the first place we went to is the Y of the USA with their food program. Um, Walmart was a big contributor, uh, the Walmart Foundation, to some of the summer feeding and, and things that we were doing. So nationally we know that one in six kids in this country isn't sure where their next meal is going to come from but there's a lot of support available to address that need. It just really needed that attention and really a convener in the communities to bring that together. The YMCA's have been able to step into that role and make sure that kids through partnerships are accessing that healthy food during after school, summer. So Woods Supermarket has been our partner from day one. Each week we're uh, working with our buyers to try to uh, get the the best food possible for those those kids. Initially, um, our workforce did start as a volunteer base. Um, it was 100% volunteer for the first few weeks, um, and then we started to recognize that um, that we were going to need some additional help. Uh, we've actually uh, relied on it. You know, we've we've gone to Eldorado to get grocery grab for us, being a low income. And so I did, you know, one of the, one day I was just like, we don't, you know, they take volunteers, so I was going to go volunteer, just help re kind of return the favor for what they do. So the community response to this program has been tremendous, and I think that is the one thing. If I were to highlight um, something out of this program uh, beyond the impact of feeding kids, it, it is the. Um, the fact that the community has owned this program. So from any given week, um, you would see somebody walking through or uh, driving through the, the pickup line um, that that individual was actually the person the week before that was loading somebody else's car. I pick up 11 bags and I make a complete circle from Nevada all the way back around to Manville delivering those bags of groceries just trying to help out. <laughs> Oh, it's good for my heart. I mean, it's good. It does my heart good, in other words. You know, it's, uh, it, it's those families that need this assistance. Um, it, does, it does my heart good to see those kids not go without eating. So when you talk about the mission work uh, of the YMCA, uh, being able to feed kids and, and that social responsibility piece uh, to make sure that kids have access. I mean, kids are our futures, right? So the future of this community. Uh, so we want to make sure that we take care of them. And we, like most YMCAs, are, are very kid-centered in our programming. And uh, th that's just an important piece to, to who we are. If this community is going to continue to thrive, um, we've got to take care of our children. 